Is this electric bike really any good? Hi everybody, I'm Basso Contour. Stay tuned, let's find out. Let's take the e-bike around the neighborhood, up a few hills and see how it works. In our state, we're limited to 20 mile per hour maximum. One of the very first accessories I purchased was a sturdy rack on the back and to go with it a pack and you could sort of take the pack off like a little piece of luggage. Of course one of the main purposes of the pack is to hold the second battery. If I'm going on a long trip this is the second battery. Some of my friends recommended I put this cable guard on and it was actually pretty simple to find one online and install it. One of the other accessories I purchased and installed was the Luna Hot Rod Kit, which provides an LED and an upgraded controller. Of course, this is the battery compartment, and it also shows you the upgraded controller. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but it worked out okay. So overall, I've really enjoyed riding this Saunders e-bike. It's very economical, and even with the upgrades, I'm only into it for about twelve or thirteen hundred dollars, and it's proven to be reliable. On the downside, you don't have a lot of range, and also you're not going to be going up some steep hills. So I recommend getting that extra battery pack and maybe doing the Luna power upgrade. But nevertheless, it's a heck of a buy, and I've had a lot of fun riding it around. In Dublin, California, I'm Basso Contour. Thanks for watching, everybody.